Welcome to CardHop version 1.1 for the iPhone and iPad. The team at Flexibits has been hard at work on this new version, and there's a lot of new features to share. Let's get started. CardHop now has template settings to customize fields and labels for a new contact. To access that, just go to the CardHop settings and scroll down to Edit Contact Template. I'm going to tap on it right now. And that opens up the card hop template. And you can see this is the standard setup, but if I want to add to it, I can just tap a button to add a phone number or an email. If I want to take one out, I just swipe from right to left to remove it. Now, when you set up a new contact, card hop will give you exactly the fields that you want. A cool new feature in card hop is the ability to create smart group templates. You can create smart group templates under the groups list. Just scroll to the bottom and then tap the button to add a smart group. And there's a whole bunch of them here. Uh, for instance, you can look for all of the contacts you have with missing birthdays. Once you tap on that, it's going to give you a smart group of all your contacts with missing birthdays. There's a whole bunch of these available to you. People without being groups, companies, um, recently modified contacts that have notes, uh, postal addresses and incomplete names, or you can have contacts that don't have any information in them at all. That's a great way to locate those orphans in your database and get rid of them. I'm going to go ahead and create one for incomplete names. Click done. And there are a list of my contacts with incomplete names. Like I've got one here named E and that's all I have. That's probably a good one for deletion. CardHop now supports multiple business cards, so you can have a business card for your work and your home, or if you've got two gigs, you can have both of them. To access that, go ahead and go into the settings, and you see there's this business card button at the very top. I'll tap there. Currently, I have just one business card, but I'm going to add a personal one, so I'll just tap the plus sign, and I'll give it a label, personal, and then I can start adding data to it from my list. Okay, I've added the data, so it's changed. I'm going to make the color of it orange, and I'm good. Now, when I turn my phone on its side while using CardHop, I have two business cards, my work business card and my personal one. You'll note they both have a QR code, so someone can zap that and collect my information very quickly. Additionally, with the new version, your business card settings automatically sync between devices using iCloud. Scrolling to the bottom of the settings, you'll see that CardHop now supports Gravatar, so you can download images from Gravatar automatically. If any of your contacts don't have an image, CardHop will download them from Gravatar and add them to the contact card. Here's a contact card with no avatar. I'm just going to tap on the edit button for the avatar and you can see the option is there for the gravatar. I'll tap on that. It then goes and fetches it and adds it to the image. And then I can just tap save. And now I've added the gravatar to that card. Card help now supports sending messages to groups with the parser. So I can type message area 51, which is one of my groups. It's a company. Pizza meeting. When I click done, it's going to open a new message in the messages app to all those people titled pizza meeting. Sorting contacts in card app just got a lot more powerful with the most recent version. You can tap on the sort button in any group, and then you can sort by name, organization, email, country, state, city, and zip. Just tap on the one you want and it will automatically resort them. There's a lot more to like about this new version of Card Hop. There's now a setting to show nicknames and contact lists. There's also now an option to import directory contacts as regular contacts. With this latest version, they also added an action to send Threema messages, added a YouTube social profile label, and now custom property labels can be reused when editing other contacts. 
CardHop for iOS is the contacts app you'll actually want to use. To learn more, head over to flexibits.com.